So what this technology allows us to do is to structure glasses as if they were a polymer. Conceptually speaking, glasses have to be structured at either high temperature or using very aggressive and corrosive chemicals um, in a process known as etching. All of these processes are decades old and they do not rise up to the challenges of the 21st century, which requires very fine, delicate, intricate glass structures and glasses at industrial scale replication. We need components in very huge numbers. Just imagine compact camera modules, the small modules on your smartphones or tablets that capture the images. They require a set of lenses and most of these lenses nowadays are not made from glasses but from polymers because they're too expensive to make from glasses. If you buy new spectacles, you most likely get polymer lenses because glass lenses are too expensive. Why is that? Glass as a material is not expensive, but the process technology required to structure glasses is. Polymers, on the other hand, have significantly worse properties in terms of their optical, thermal, mechanical and chemical behavior. But Polymers can be structured by a very wide range of techniques and most prominently in scalable industrial processing by injection molding. Injection molding is the standard process for mass market manufacturing of plastic components. And this is a process which until now has not been accessible for glasses, which is why glasses really have to be made one piece at a time, whereas polymers can be structured in a mass market compatible process. With our, with our technology, it is now possible to structure glasses as if they were polymers by using established, on-site, commercially available polymer replication technology, which allows you to structure a pre-glass formulation, which we term glassomer, to a given shape. Once you have the shape, you put the piece into the oven, and in the oven, you perform a so-called sintering process, and out of the oven, you take a high-purity fused silica glass, which means you effectively fuse polymer processing to the advantageous properties of glasses. With this technology, we achieved a real breakthrough in the design of glasses in the 21st century. Now, glass processing has effectively become polymer processing, which is a huge step forward towards mass which is a huge step forward towards mass market manufacturing of glass components.